All right. It's time to build some more Visual Force pages. Now we are going to display records, fields, and tables. We are going to introduce a few new tags, Visual Force tags. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to launch my Trailhead Playground, hands on orgs here. Launch my developer beginner trail. And let's go back to our trail. Okay. So first, let's create a new Visual Force page. It says account detail for the page name. Okay, let's go ahead and do just that. Sure, we can allow. Um, developer console. Have we created account detail visual force page? Let's try. If it says it already exists, we might have. So visual force page here. Account detail looks or sounds familiar. Oh, no, we haven't. Okay, back to the trail. So copy this out and flip back there paste so the 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 spirit or the engine or the controller of this page is the account object so when we just put account name so curly bracket exclamation point this is the object this is the field name it should just display the field name but we don't we don't have any ID or record ID passed yet. Remember when we want to show something is blankety blank there. So if I go to my trailhead um, here and I go to my accounts, search for accounts and Burlington Corpse copy here account record ID. Remember that record ID, I'm going to copy that and pass it to my Visual Force page and ID equals that. Boom. See now it's displaying that particular um, field value. Flip back. Okay, so this is what it's doing right now. Pretty simple. Move on. So this is what we just did. Display record detail. Now this is a magic tag one tag will do it all look at this so this is the apex detail I'm gonna copy it tag which is exactly displaying what you see on a Salesforce classic so just one tag look at this it's a very powerful little tag I just put it there now if I refresh this copy the ID again and ID equals that boom look at that see it has everything now isn't it awesome just like in Salesforce classic do you know about Salesforce classic have we talked about it I think throughout the trailhead we always use the lightning experience right but if you want to switch to Salesforce Classic, click on your icon here and then at the bottom, switch to Salesforce Classics. It's the old Salesforce user interface. So if I just click there, there you go. This is the old one. So I can go to accounts from here and then accounts. And if I see, if I click on Burlington Textiles here, and I'm gonna hide the feed. See, looks familiar. Same thing here, right? Looks like the classic is back to life. Close that, close that. So this is Salesforce Classic. So that one tag is displaying what we see from the Salesforce Classic record page here, right? See, it's, it's basically the same thing. So I'm gonna flip back to lightning experience here 
and let's go ahead so we just do one simple tag and bada bing bada boom you can see the whole shebang here so this is an example of a coarse grained output meaning it's displaying a whole bunch of stuff with just one tag okay so now let's move on and dig in deeper if i say apex detail with the parameter or the properties of the related list equals false meaning please don't display the related list this is the related list here context opportunities cases so any other records on any other object that is related to the account record that is being displayed here these are the related lists so let's make it false let's not display it apex detail related related list here oopsie that's ugly let's call it false so meaning don't display it saving that so whenever i save that the id on my preview is gone takes a while to save it come on come on see now you have to keep doing the id again see now the related list which was below here is gone because we explicitly says please do not display it okay so that's what it it do so now we say oh but i want to only display the context related list and the opportunities with page size of five copy that and give it a try boom save and then i'm going to flip back to my page here and put the id again and id equals this boom we have contacts and opportunities well page five but we only have one opportunity so we can't see the pagination okay but it will only display five opportunities at a time and then you can go to the second page third page and so on to scroll to the opportunities okay that's another trick that you can use to display the course um what do they say coarse grained output all right so that's pretty straightforward that's pretty simple now we can you can actually do it one by one so if i want to take out the the whole thing here and i just want to display these fields i'm going to shift uh, command a shift tab tidy up and save so we take out the apex detail right so it's not going to display the whole thing it's just going to display the name the phone industry annual revenue which we actually did in the previous video or previous trail so if i hit here and end again and click there there it doesn't look good we should put some break there all right break it apart like break and break 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 save and now we have some break and id boom so you put some break there okay that's you can style it format it however you you like this is just basic uh, things to show you the data we are actually displaying all right back to the trailhead what is next now we can also use a block apex page block and then page block section this looks familiar we actually did this in the previous trail it's just to tidy up the thing if i change this whole thing with that so it's gonna display within a page block now right so if i flip back here there well there is nothing there let's see because hmm. we didn't pass the record dude there burlington texas banking phone 
350 million dollars. I can do one trillion. One trillion dollars I can do. Okay, now let's go back to the trailhead. What else? So we we have formatted this within the page a uh, page block and page block section, and it looks nicer here, right? Looks nicer. Now we can also display a table. Let's try that. So now we are moving into context, title context. So it's a related account dot context. So loop through all. Oh, we're getting interesting here. I'm gonna copy this and move back. So I'm gonna change this thing. Now we're using variable and shift tab and save. So. The controller, the engine is still the account engine. But now we are wanting to display the contacts here. All right. So account dot contacts with an S is the value of this page block table. See page block table. So account dot contacts. So this is the related list. So if you want to do cases, for example, so account.cases, all right? Or account.opportunities, if you want that, all right? We can actually do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do this first. I'm going to show you what it looks like over here. And ID, bam, 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 there. We have Jack Rogers. VP facilities, blah, blah, blah. So if, I, for example, I, I add a new contact here. Okay, I want to add a new contact. So you can, you can see it's actually looping, right? Um, James Bond. And then, uh, double agent. I don't know, let's just save that, okay? save now we have two contacts right james bond and jack rogers so if i go back here and i refresh this guy woo we have james bond which is a double agent and this is his 007 number all right so we have contacts there what about what else does this account have uh, we have one opportunity and two cases right we have two cases here okay so we have subject and priority Okay, so if I flip back here and I'm being lazy, I'm just going to copy this whole thing and say another block place. We have cases, account dot cases, case, 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 case. There is no name, subject, priority. What else is there in a case? Let's flip back here. What else is there in a case? Status. Let's do status. Case number and then status. Okay. Uh -huh. Save. There. Now, if we flip back to our page and pass again the record ID here. Boomy. Look at that. We have contacts, we have cases, right? The subject, the priority, and the status or whatever field that you want to display. So that's how you uh, construct things, right? Using the, the, the loop, the page block table loop. So this is the account dot the lookup uh, object and then you can name it as a variable and then you do case dot field name case dot field name whatever field name you want to display there same thing this is contact contact right you got that pretty straightforward all right now you can play around on your own display some fields you want to display okay moving on we've played with page block table and then you can play with other tags you can um, do your columns and stuff like that. Please do experiment. Apex uh, Visual Force Tags has 
tons of tags here. Standard component reference. If I click on this, there is a ton. There is no way I can I can display everything here. Here, look at this. This is all the tags that's available for you to use and play around. There is example here, right? So there is what is face it. So the way I use it is whenever I am building an application or a visual force application. See, I want to display this. I want it to look like this. And then I Google it. If I want the data to look like this, I Google it. What's the best way to do it? You know, what can I use? There's a lot of Lego pieces here, right? Input secret. What on earth is that, right? You can just try it, you know, go browse around map maker. That's cool. See, you can map it and stuff like that. I don't even, uh, yeah, you can use this. <laughs> Interesting. So you are going to browse this yourself. All right. There's a ton, hundreds of tags. I think it's over you know, 100. So you can browse that. We cannot cover all of it on any video it's impossible it's a it's it's a lifetime it's a journey of your own adventure to 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 create whatever application you want to create and just use the the tags that can make it very functional you know and just user friendly all right i think we are done with the explanation of these tags and i'm going to separate the challenge on a separate video so I will see you on the next video, but your, your homework is to play around with, um, go here, okay, you know, browse around, I don't know, spend some time, and well, we will give you an, a special assignment to actually make a real visual force application. We will make a time logger. Uh, which can be used by offices to clock in and clock out time or clock in or log activities, work activities or whatever. It's going to be a um, pretty cool application, but not so complicated. We are going to do it after we do the whole at uh, developer beginner trails. All right. I'll see you on the next video. Boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.